There seems to be a point of contention or concern that I am sharing my son's hands and feet here on TikTok and on YouTube. And I just want to say he's totally into it. There's no um, me taking advantage of him here. This has to be done. And I have asked his permission every time to to put the camera on him and film it and put it on TikTok. And he thinks it's awesome. He's always asking me, how many views did my latest video get? And um, it's just very cute. He says he wants to grow up and be a TikToker or a YouTuber. And he's been saying that for years before we started this TikTok channel. So uh, he's down with sharing. I don't feel like I am taking advantage of him. And someday when he's older, he is only seven, if he wants to make a TikTok channel or YouTube channel or both for himself about his skin or about anything else, he's quite a gamer. He's also incredibly intelligent. He's in first grade, but he's doing math and reading at a fourth grade level currently. Um, smart little man. So he can do whatever he wants with his life. But while he's a little kid and I am the one taking care of his skin, I'm going to share it here and I'm going to teach. There have been hundreds of people with this condition specifically who have contacted me for advice and help and they have discovered how to care for their own skin in a way that no doctor, dermatologist, podiatrist, any professional ever gave to them. And what that, that is priceless in my opinion. Also parents who don't have EPPK but who have born children who have it because it does skip generations. It does occur as a random mutation without passing it down hereditarily. Um, they have learned how to care for their children's skin in ways they never understood. I've had parents in tears emailing me saying, uh, my kid is running around flexing their hands and clapping and snapping and telling me all about how amazing it is that they can use their hands and feel their hands now that we've started using your techniques. Priceless. It's priceless, folks. I've had other adults messaging me in tears, emailing me saying, I finally used your shaver or I used the pedicure knife after scraping. And I just, I am in awe of the amount of sensitivity. My feet have always felt like a rock and now they feel like normal feet. I can wear socks. This is glorious. People learning how to clip the phrase on top of their hands and not live in discomfort all the time. Come on, people. This is a good thing. <laughs> this is a great experience. It's a great experience for my family to share this and have so much overwhelming support that nobody expected. I didn't know when I started this channel, which by the way, I, I call it a channel because once upon a time, 15 years ago, I was a YouTuber. But this page, um, I, I started it in January, you guys. I mean, I had no idea. I had no idea I was going to experience this success. I had no idea I was going to reach people around the world. Some people who've never had access to doctors who do anything except take care of the most severe ailments because they live in impoverished places, and yet they have access to TikTok, and they're learning about how to take care of themselves from me and my son. Hey, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's overwhelming at times. By the way, if you send me a message and you just send me those three little hand waves, I'm not going to... I'm not going to reply. I get hundreds and hundreds of those. But if you actually genuinely have a question or a comment that you want me to see, I will read it. I do reply to messages. All the hundreds of people who've contacted me with this condition or with similar conditions who are seeking advice have gotten replies from me so they can testify to that. But ultimately, if you're just reaching out to be like, hey, follow me, follow my friend's account, give me some views. I mean, come on. I, I don't have time for this. <laughs> I do have like an actual career and a, a homestead and gardens and my children and husband and I sing in choir and I also have a whole bunch of pet projects going on outside of all of that stuff. So, you know, I'm doing what I can to share and to help. And no, he's not a dummy. He's This is not a fake hand. This is not something I'm doing for views. This is actually what we live like. And my son is very happy to have me shave his hands. He's always a bit in a better mood and full of joy the few days after we do a shave. Bye-bye.